Hey guys, it's Rachel from Little Reading Lamb, and today I have a book review on Demelza by Winston Graham, the second book in the Poldark series. If you haven't read the first Poldark book, I have a review of that, and I'll try to remember to link it in the down bar, but the first book is called Ross Poldark. And basically, if you have not read the first, if you have not read the first book, there will be spoilers, but if you have read the first book, you don't have to worry if you haven't read this one because this book review will be spoiler free. If you're new to my book reviews or just need a refresher, I read my books in five different categories. Plot, characters, cover, suspense, and overall in terms of reading, very soon, five to five, not so soon, one out of five. So this book takes place from the years 1788 to 90. So there's two year period covered in this book. And my copy is a little over 500 pages. This is not the TV tie-in edition. This just has a TV cover. There is a difference between the two, I believe. I'm not sure, really sure what the difference is. I don't know if it's for this one, but I saw the third book does have a TV tie-in, so my review is strictly on the original text. Um, and basically this, um, I'm just going to read the back. I don't, I don't want to spoil it. Um, so Demelza Carne, the impoverished miner's daughter, Ross Poldark, rescued from a fairground rabble, is now his wife. But the events that unfold during these turbulent years will test their marriage and their love to the limit. Demelza's efforts to adapt to the ways of the gentry and her husband bring her confusion and heartache, despite her joy in the birth of her first child. Meanwhile, Ross begins a bitter struggle for the rights of the mining communities and sows the seeds of an enduring enmity and amenity with powerful George Warligan. Warligan? I haven't watched the show, so some of my pronunciations of the names might be off because after reading this book, I can now watch the first season of the new one, but I have to read the first four books to be able to watch the older BBC version, which I do own on DVD, um, but I really want to get to, so I really want to read the third and fourth books so soon, but I'm going to be waiting a little while because I did do this as a buddy read slash read along. Um, Carrie was able to read the book, but Shannon has not, not yet been able to get a copy of the book, so hopefully we'll all be able to read the third book together. So yes, basically, um, plot, I give a 5 out of 5. I really loved this book, just as much as I loved Ross Poldark. It it was just so good. I just love this writer's perspective. We get to hear what other people are thinking, not necessarily like the whole chapter in their viewpoint, but they go to a party, we get to hear what people are saying about the main characters. We get to hear gossip. Um, there was a lot of action, a lot of interesting stuff happened, especially with minor characters. And I really liked all the plot progression. Now, I do have to say the last... I'd say from page 500 to 521, that was how many pages were my edition. I'd say that part was very, very slow. Um, I didn't really understand what was happening. It didn't really seem like an ending was coming soon. I know this is a series, but it didn't seem like there was an ending coming for some reason. And I found that part to be a little slow, but that did not really hinder on my rating for the book because the book was just phenomenal throughout. And even though that was a little bit of a slower part, the rest of it kept me wanting to read. I started reading this like the beginning of the book a little bit slower if you've watched my progress on this just because I got so many new books this month and I really wanted to get to them and I already had this like buddy read lined up so I was kind of not fighting it because I did really want to read this but I was kind of a little more hesitant because I wanted to read so many other things but once I got immersed back into the world it was great um, it didn't take very long and this author's writing at the beginning is sometimes a little bit tricky to adapt to but I'd say it's kind of like it reminds me of not that his writing reminds me of Shakespeare, but it's kind of the same feeling I get when I read Shakespeare. Like, the first 20 pages are really difficult for me to decipher. And then once I get into it, I get into the mode where I can, you know, pick up on certain words, mean certain things, that kind of thing. So, I really like that. Uh, characters, I give a 5 to 5. I love all the characters. We got to see some new characters in this book. We got um, Mark Daniel, the character of Karen, Dwight. Um, who else was new in this? And I don't really think there's that many more new people, but then we get to see... Verity, who's one of my favorite characters. We got to see Francis Elizabeth and Geoffrey Charles or Geoffrey Charles. I'm not sure if they pronounce it with the G or it's, you know, silent G for the J. But anyway, I really like seeing them. I love Ross and Demelza's relationship. You got to really see it grow and like, yes, they do have problems. They're not the most like loving of people. I really like the sweet moments between them. Um, and I really loved um, seeing their child, um, who's named Julia. So she's a new character. Um, that's in the first page or so so that's not too bad of a spoiler um yeah it's the first sentence of the book so you know i was just making sure that wasn't farther because i would have cut it but there's so many characters i really like to see what's going on but i had to say my favorites to read about i love reading with demelza and ross and i really really like verity i really liked her storyline this book um i really hope you get, i get to see like more of her character progression in the next book which i believe you would be able to and we also got like updates on judd and Prudy, which are their, like, um, workers, I guess. Um, Ginny Carter, no, Ginny Martin, sorry, not Ginny Carter. Um, 
all the favorites and we got I like to see new perspective because last um, book was really focused on Jim and Ginny and this book was more focused on Mark and Karen and you get to see kind of their story go alongside the Poldarks and yeah found that very interesting. Cover I give a four out of five. Now I usually don't like TV covers but I find this actress really fits the role of Demelza because I saw the first episode yes before I did read the first book and I know like I don't think Demelza does have or like orange hair. I don't think she is a ginger. I think she has dark hair, but it's kind of confusing because this is how I see her. Maybe it's because I saw the show, but I really think like the actress is really good in this role. I've only seen the first episode, so that's all I'm judging on, but I really liked her acting and I don't like, I feel like she fits the role. I really like how you can see the scenery in the background. You can see, I assumably Ross and the horse and the skyline. I really love this skyline. That's just stunning. And I like the spine, but the only complaint I have is when you're looking at your books, because I have the older edition of Ross Poldark, and it's called, you know, Ross Poldark, so those are on the spine. But this book's just called Demelza, and Demelza is smaller than Poldark, and Poldark's bigger than Winston Graham. I feel like Demelza should have been here. Winston Graham's name should have been the size of Demelza, and then Poldark should have been this little thing at the top. I feel like that would have made more sense, um, because when you're looking at your bookshelf, but I guess if you have all the TV editions and they all have Poldark along the side, that's got to look really nice. I do not, but maybe one day I will collect them because I really do love these books. Suspense, I give a 5 out of 5. I wanted to keep reading to know this. This might have been because Carrie had started the book later October and I really wanted to catch up to where she was reading because I really wanted to discuss it faster. And I really like doing buddy reads, especially sometimes when the person's a little bit ahead of me because then I feel motivated to keep reading more, especially because sometimes at school, like I might read 30 pages a day and like in summer I read like at least a little bit over 50 most days. So it's like it really like school time really cuts into my reading and sometimes I don't feel as motivated to read because I've been reading stuff for school and I just don't want to sit down and read but this book definitely like not only did I have that influence but this book definitely made me want to keep reading there's so many books in the series and I really want to know how their lives are going to go um a lot of interesting developments were happening within this book because last book really set up all the characters in the world and this book you just got to immerse and see all the dramas that were happening I really like that this book is kind of like a diary it tells you the years it goes by and the next book I think takes place like 90 to 92 if I'm not mistaken like 1790 to 1792 and I'm just I just really like the pacing of these books I feel like they move really fast um yeah not really that many complaints and overall five to five for rereadability these books look very hefty but the font inside I'm just going to turn a random page is not too bad I can really fly through this these books it's basically I can read a page a minute um if not more and that's pretty good because some books it takes me a little bit longer but like for example Outlander it takes me about two minutes per page because the page is like it's a mass market and there's like the fonts really small but this book like I can fly through it and I really enjoyed it if you guys have read this book definitely let me know what you guys thought in the comments I cannot wait to read the third um, book we're just like gotta check with everybody but I'm really excited and I really want to watch the old one so I'm hoping by next summer like late August maybe I can get to the older um, BBC show and I hope sometime in the new year like early next year to watch the first season of Poldark. I know the second season's currently out but yeah I won't be getting to that till I read the third and fourth book so I'm gonna be a little bit behind for now but I'm really excited to continue on the series because it's really good.